What is going on everybody, this is Football Exclusive and welcome back to another college football predictions video. Now we're going into the independent and we're looking at the Notre Dame Fighting Irish. Now I know this is a more of a power five type pr predictions, but Notre Dame is one of the good non-power five schools. Um, and also I'll probably be doing a couple, a group of five predictions, depends. I know I'll probably be doing UCF maybe even Boise State, some good teams like that, but I'm not gonna probably predict like a team like UTEP or something like that. If you comment down below, I'll consider it. But the plan is I might um, make a full video of all the Power 5 predictions. I won't really predict season, I'll just predict the record for all the teams. But that's not the point. The video is Notre Dame. So anyway, Notre Dame, let's talk a little bit. Their offense is pretty good. Defense is decent. I uh, think it's pretty good, though. Ian Brook, the, the quarterback, that's the main guy you got to watch out for um, when it comes to Notre Dame. Notre Dame, sorry. But uh, Ian Brook, he has the potential to be a Heisman candidate. I say potential because something you got to work on is he's when he's under pressure, he starts to struggle. Okay, You can see it when he's in a big game. Uh, his accuracy gets a little bit worse and his decision making is not as good. Now, I'm not saying it's terrible, I'm just saying it's just not as good as when he's in his quote, quote, comfort zone, okay? So, Notre Dame, I think will be uh, pretty solid. If Ian Brook can figure that out, then I think Notre Dame will be a great football team, but it's something you can't ignore and something you gotta acknowledge when you're going into the predictions. So, number one, we have Navy in a neutral site game. Now, Navy has a pretty good offense. I think they it's like an option. I might be wrong. That might be a different team. But um, Navy, the, their offense, I think, is confusing. Um, and I said that when I used to think that Georgia Tech's head coach was still around, and I got that wrong. Uh, but I used to always acknowledge it. Um, but anyway, I know their coaches have gone there in a the new offense. But Navy... Like I said, offense is confusing, but I do think Notre Dame's defense will be able to make some shots, and I think Notre Dame's offense will score some points, so I think Notre Dame will win that game. Arkansas, up next, you have them at home. I don't think it'll matter either if they're home or away. I think Notre Dame will beat them uh, fairly close. I, I don't think it'll be a blowout, and it might be. Uh, it's probably more likely to be a blowout than a close game. Um, but I do think Notre Dame will win that game. I just don't think Arkansas is... Uh, talented as Notre Dame is. Western Michigan, you know, you give Notre Dame the win there, and it's not much to say. Um, then versus Wake Forest, so it's another neutral side game. Wake Forest is not bad. I think they're doing better. I believe they were ranked for a point last year. So Notre Dame's not a bad team, but I do think Notre Dame is better. I think Ian Brook will make some plays, and I think Notre Dame will get the win there. Then another neutral site game against Wisconsin. Now this is a big game. Wisconsin was really good last year, blowing out Michigan. Lost a couple games, one being a huge upset against Illinois. Um, but I think Wisconsin, I think they're more talented uh, than Notre Dame. I think that's one of those things. This is a big game. Ian Brooks under a lot of pressure or book. I, I might be saying his last name wrong. Excuse me though. but. Like I said, very pressuring for Notre Dame's quarterback. I think he's going to make some mistakes. I think he's going to give Wisconsin's defense a chance. And I think um, Wisconsin is going to make some big plays. And I think Wisconsin will win that game against Notre Dame. So Notre Dame gets their first loss. And now they're 4-1. Stanford is up next. Now Stanford, they've been struggling recently. They might be getting better. But I do think Notre Dame will win that game it's pretty comfortably. Then at Pitt, now Pittsburgh is a pretty good team. And by the way, guys, sorry, it's a little it's storming. So if you hear thunder, that's just like, please excuse that. But at Pittsburgh, and this is a road game. Now, I do think Notre Dame is way more talented. So I think Notre Dame will win that. Then Duke is so up next. Duke is just not... I'm just not really going to say much. Nerd. Duke is just not there. And they're not uh, as competitive or as good as Notre Dame is. So I think Notre Dame will win that pretty comfortably. Now Clemson, you got them at home. And that's, that's an advantage you have. 
but Clemson's offense is going to be splendid. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how what else you could say about that. I mean, you got Trevor Lawrence. Um, I know they lost their star receiver T. Higgins and a couple other guys, um, but Cle Clemson is just good year in, year out at this point. So I do think uh, Clemson's offense will score points. I don't think Ian Brooke will be able to keep up in a big game like this. At Georgia Tech, Georgia Tech is getting better. Uh, this is kind of their rebuilding phase, but so I think Notre Dame will win that game. Then Louisville, at first I had Louisville winning this game. Now, because Louisville has a great offense, so I think they'll be able to score some points, but at the end of the day, I think Notre Dame will win. Now at USC, now USC is a team you definitely have to watch out for. They have a good quarterback, a good offense, um, a good O-line actually. So USC is good on offense all across the board and I think they do have a pretty decent defense. Uh, so I think USC will put up a lot of points and it's just gonna give Ian Brook more pressure. And now I know that's what I've been focusing on, but like the quarterback is the most important position. Uh, in football now and it's kind of always been um, but I think that's the reason why Notre Dame will lose this game now Notre Dame you finished the season nine and three and I think um, Notre Dame will be getting better um, but I, that's what I have them finishing at and I know you guys will probably think they're gonna do a little bit better than that I know a lot of you're gonna say that they're gonna be Wisconsin and maybe even USC so just comment down below your predictions and I'll be interested to see what you guys think. And thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next video.